Good morning guys, so it's the 21st today, um, I don't know what I'll be filming for this week, um, I know for a fact that someone's coming over to help us build the snake bavarians, um, that'll be about 3 o'clock tonight, so hopefully that goes well. And I'll film them being put into their cages. Um, I don't know what else I'll be filming to, to be honest. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'll see you in a bit. I'm actually um, restarting my diet because um, I kind of gave up my diet a couple of months ago. Hopefully you'll understand by the end of this video. I'm not too sure if I'm going to say why yet, um, but for breakfast today I've got, I'm just going to turn the camera around, of Weetabix, which I think is about 77 calories to be honest. Weetabix is very, very easy to make. You buy the, um, like the chunks of it from the store, the shop. And then you just boil up some milk. You can have it with cold milk, but I prefer hot milk. Um, and then you just pour it over, and then you're basically done, really. Um, so, yeah, I'm starting off my diet again. Hopefully I won't uh, stop my diet. So, yeah. So we finally got the Viv up, as you can see right here. It took us forever to get this up. Because um, when we tried to get up the first time, it kept on breaking. So we ended up having to screw it, and if you can see there, we had to put gaffer tape around the bottom because uh, it just would not stop falling apart. But she is in there. I'll give you a quick look at the enclosure in a second. Um, also, I'd like to let you know, um, stay tuned for the end of this video, because I do have a story coming up at, at the end of this video. I also have a pretty busy day tomorrow as well. In fact, it's a very, very busy day tomorrow. I've got to do a lot in town. I might even go in for something to eat, I don't know yet. Depends on how much I can get done. So, yeah, I'll see you maybe later on, I don't know yet. I'll put, I'll film, like, for the, the cage and stuff, but I don't know what else I'm going to be doing today, so. Yeah, so she's in a four foot vivarium now and she's got about three to four hides um like she's on the timer um yeah, so she's got one hide there she's got a water bowl there she's got another plant there oops and she's got a couple of plants there along with a stick I don't know if you can see that and she's also got like a tube and a coconut hide there. And she's got a piece of wood there. But that that hide there kind of converts into a larger water bowl for her. And over the back there she's got a small plant. I know it's I know there's only a few things in here, but I'm getting some more stuff tomorrow. And I will show you her. Here's a gorgeous little girl. She's seven months old yesterday. She's showing up a lot darker in the camera to what she actually is in real life. So yeah, I'm gonna cover her up so I don't stress her out too much. Hi guys, so um it's now the twenty-third and as you can see I've decided not to go shopping today. Um but um, I'm going there on Saturday, so there will still be a video on Saturday about 
all of that. But I've decided just to like do the story time video and then um you know um I don't I don't know what else I'm gonna be filming either today or tomorrow but as I said I'm not going out downtown today. Um so yeah, I have got a um shipment coming in on the on sa Sunday about the um the new additions. Sorry, that was the light to her enclosure coming on. Um hopefully these videos will get better. Just at the moment we're going through a little bit of a tough stage at the moment. So yeah, I'll film the um the story time later on. Um it's a very, very serious story time, so yeah. Um so yeah, I'll see you later on. And if I don't film anything after the story time then Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in next week's video, or Saturday's video, sorry. I'm losing all track of the days here. I'm so tired. So, she seems to be doing well in her cage, so that's good. So, I've had her out this morning, and she, se she seems alright. She's just a bit cold, to be honest. Other than that, she's fine doing well um, so yeah I'll speak to you later on when I'm doing the story time video so at the beginning of the video I mentioned that sorry about that my friend my um Fivarium's light just came on um at the, at the beginning of the video I mentioned that I had a story and it's a very very serious story it's about when my best friend threatened to kill me and I have all the proof to prove it so I'll show you that probably later in, in the video I'm going to blur the name or at least try to blur the name um, first of all it started off as a normal day um, I can't remember what the date actually was. I know it was um in November though. Um, this particular um day, I was feeling a little bit on the low side, so I started messaging her, and she she just started um like I don't know how to describe it, but she was like um. She was acting off, so I was like, oh, I'm sorry, this, that, and the other. Um, that my dog kept on barking. Anyway, she was acting off. Um, she's like, oh, um, if you don't stop this, uh, you're gonna be cruising for a bruising, you're gonna be, um, up with your mum by the end of the night. If you know me, if you watch my videos, you'd know my mum passed away three years ago. Um, and so, yeah, she was, she was being rather mean about that. And she went on to say, oh, um, I'm going to stab you up. I know where you live. Um, I'll include all the proof. So the light just came on again. I'll include all the proof about this um, after the video has ended. But um, she has been to court now. Um, so, yeah, that's a good thing. Um, I have got a restraining order out on her, which at the moment is indefinite. 
so which means which means she cannot call me she can't text me she can't facebook me nothing because if she did she'll be straight back to the police to um finish off her sentence um so if yeah, she's got three months and she'll be let out but they they said um she she she's got three months and she's let out if she's um if she tries contacting me or anything like that she'll be in prison for the rest of the year so yeah um there is that um as you can imagine i was very very scared that night because um i was literally shaking i couldn't even eat my dinner i was shaking so flipping much um so yeah i'll include some um clips of what she was saying um, actually no i'll include the images of what she was saying but as i said i'll blow the, the um the name and the picture um so yeah as i said you can imagine i was so scared that night um she's not only done it three she's not only done it once once but she's done it three times and she tried she even tried getting me to drop um drop the case in other words tried getting me to call off the court date and things like that i'm like no if you know me i don't believe in that sort of, that sort of stuff this is some this is coming from someone i've known for 16 plus years and she told me that she'd never ever do this thing to me and now i can't trust her to be honest I, li I literally can't trust her i've known i've known her since halfway through year five at school which which is a long time so yeah um i'm gonna end this here before before i start getting all upset and that um, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.